This week, it became increasingly clear that Britain is going for a clean break with the EU, while a notable Frenchman offered an olive branch. Finally, we have some clarity on the kind of Brexit deal the government wants. Liam Fox, the International Trade Secretary, announced that the UK will become a newly independent member of the World Trade Organization. This suggests that remaining in the EU customs union or single market is off the agenda. This ironically came at the same time that Jaguar Land Rover, Britain's largest car manufacturer, warned this so-called hard Brexit could make business uncompetitive and put jobs at risk. Jaguar, like other car manufacturers, is particularly keen to see a free trade deal as the standard EU import duty on cars is 10%. So Dr Fox has unsurprisingly urged EU leaders to strike a free trade deal post-Brexit. He warned that there would be consequences for both Brussels and Britain if it returned to the old tariff regime. It is certainly in the UK's interest to strike such a deal, but will the other 27 European leaders share his enthusiasm? As Brexit gathers pace, an olive branch emerged from France. Nicolas Sarkozy is running for president again, and one of his main policies is EU reform. If he is successful in next May's presidential election, Mr Sarkozy said he would like to negotiate a new EU treaty. He said this would allow a new Europe to be presented to British voters and he would urge the UK to reconsider Brexit. For Remainers, this might be music to their ears, but it may come too late if Theresa May triggers Article 50 early next year, as is expected. Most international opinion of how Brexit will affect the British economy has been pretty negative, but Matthias Doffner, the chief executive of publishing house Axel Springer, takes a different view. In an interview with the FT this week, he said that Brexit could make the UK highly attractive to foreign investment. In a couple of years, England could even be better off than continental Europe. Many Brexiters now believe that the growing uncertainty across the continent bolsters the case for Brexit and believe Mr Doffner's predictions of a more long-term investment could eventually come to pass, but there will be plenty of bumps along the way. This week, Britain began to recast itself on the international stage as there was further uncertainty about who is in charge of Brexit.